Okay, dear friends, welcome back. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be DC nine. I will add the link into the description section below, so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do. Appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the virtual box before we record、uh, this video. Now we can go into the Kali Linux. As you see. I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as two hundred and fifty-four, and also the prefix. And then I did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the version scan, the default script scan, and the comprehensive scan by the dash p dash option. And、uh, so the Nmap scanning results tell us the two related ports. The but the first one, twenty two, the state is filtered, and the surface is SSH surface. So maybe you know, in some cases, why the State of the port is filtered. Maybe there is a possible knock mechanism be on、um, at behind uh, behind uh, this. So we need to take this into our consideration when we move on. But the the another port which is open running. It's running HTTP surface, and also the actual information. Now it's very clear what we are we are going to do next, is to do some emulation for the HTTP surface. So now let's open up our browser. And let's put the IP address of the. Target, and here we can refresh to make sure the page is updated. And here there's some super link or functions like display or records, but also can make a search and manage. But、uh, of course you can try some weak password like、uh, admin, admin. But、uh, you will fail. Also, you can try some login bypass techniques. But I can tell you, I fail to do that. So what can we do next? If we go back to our search, you know, for search function, there always sometimes exist. The SQL injection vulnerability. We need to check on this. So to do that, we can set the proxy to Burp Suite, and then we can launch our Burp Suite, and then set the proxy to be on, and then we can intercept the request. And、uh, save this request to a file, and use the SQL map to do the test. For example, we can put、uh, any any information and submit the Bubble Suite intercepted、uh, this request, and we can copy to a file, and we can go to our working directory. Which is DC nine, and the file name is request T 
txt. Okay, I think we can close up this window, and we can restore the proxy setting to default or turn off the proxy. And then we can refresh. And now we can use the SQL map. The level we can put to 5. And we let this to, to finish to see whether we can find out whether uh, this page has SQL injection vulnerability. Yeah, we have already identified the backend database DBMS is MySQL. Do you want to skip test payloads specific for other DBMS? Of course, no need to do that. You want to include, okay, and the parameter search is vulnerable. Do you want to keep testing the others? No. Yeah, we have already know that the search parameter has SQL injection vulnerability, and we need to dump the useful information or interesting information from the database. And uh, first, we need to identify the database on the virtual machine. The three database in total, but what we are interested in is users database. So we can specify the database as users and to see how many tables inside this database. Very quick, we got the result. There is just only one table. We can specify the table name. The user details, we just make a copy and paste in here. And we need to, to know the column informations. Okay, there are several columns, but uh, what we are most interested in is username and the passwords. And we can specify the column the username and the password. Okay, and then we can dump. Yeah, we have already got the username and password, but uh, you remember that uh, the SSH surface is closed at this point. But anyway, we can make a copy of this information and to generate the our custom custom dictionary, right? And uh, because I need some time to process uh, this uh, this information into two dictionary. The the first column is user name dictionary, and the second column is password dictionary. And uh, I, I, to save the time of the video, I'd like to interrupt uh, this uh, video recording. And when I, when I split this information into two dictionaries, and then I will come back. Okay, I'm back. I just uh, split the information what we got from the database into two dictionaries. The first one is user name, and the second one is a password dictionary. But uh, at this point, uh, this dictionary have no use or is useless because now the SSH surface is closed. So I think now we forget one very important step when we do the information gathering, which is directory enumeration, right? We can uh, do that now.
and I like I'd like to auto complete this command. Yeah, immediately we of course some files. We have already know that when we do the menu enumeration. But here there is one very interesting, interesting file. Welcome. Let's visit this this file. Welcome. Here, <laughs> very interesting and also very weird. You are already logging as admin, but here it says the file does not exist, and also we can log out. And add record, and manage. So, why it says the file does not exist? So maybe uh, this file has local file inclusion vulnerability. And we need to. But this time, I can tell you very important thing, which is very different from uh, other virtual machine. When we fuzz the parameter name. For this virtual machine, we need to add the header information or session inf the cookie information. Otherwise, you cannot enumerate out the parameter name. So we need to get the need to get to the cookie information as you can see here. And uh, we can make a copy. We can write and the limb, the cookie limb. So now we need to. I I I I think I like to interrupt this process, and we can use the fast two. W first two, and uh, we can make a copy. Right, and uh, we need to use the word list, dear buster. And uh, also here we need to add the head information cookie and the uh, cookie because why we need cookie because this needed to be authenticated. Okay. And uh, I think I configure the command properly. Let's hit enter. Of course, we need to add the filter. Yeah, we have already got the parameter name, which is a file. Then we can go back to our browser file to confirm we have the local file inclusion vulnerability. Yeah, as you can see, we successfully got the results. So now the even here, we have already got uh, very much information. Also, you can check whether uh, this this page has the remote file inclusion vulnerability. But I can tell you, it does not. So what can we do? You know, just I stated earlier when we do when we did the map scanning. We can know that the SSH surface is closed, and we need to know the sequence of the the port knock, right? And how to do know that?
the Ninix not hot knock etc yeah we need to get the knock configure file information right so where is it knock i think uh, knock d right for the locking I need to find the yeah I think uh, this is the configuration file right and we can use the local file inclusion vulnerability to read the content of this file right as you can see the sequence is this one we can make a copy and uh, we can use the knock but I need to install the knock first. I need to update my Kali Linux first. Just now I updated my repository of Kali Linux and then install the knock D uh, two, and then I can knock the the port of the virtual machine and uh, the sequence should be here and I can make a copy knock and uh, I think I need to remove the comma yeah, and then I need to do the map scanning for the 22 to see whether we have already opened up uh, this SSH port. Now, as you can see, the state is open. So now I think we can use the Hydra to crack the password for the SSH surface because earlier we have already got or created the username and the password dictionary from the database and then we can use the Hydra user and the password So we we will wait for this to be completed. Okay, we got the first username and the password. And the second one Of course, we can log in by different usernames and password. But uh, I just show you how we can successfully uh, got the get the final objective. Okay, janitor, we can log in to the virtual machine. I, I we need to remove. The existing information and logging again yes and the password yeah this one ID and uh, we can go to this directory and we can cut the password okay and we can put this password to our 
custom dictionary, right? Where is yeah? Okay, and uh, save. Then we can run the Hydra again. Hydra password. This time, uh, we can got uh, the another username information. So we'll wait for this to be completed. Yeah, we got uh, another username or password for another user, Fred. And we can log in to this virtual machine via SSH by uh, this compilation. We can go to our SSH Fred for SSH Fred. And the password, yeah, is this one. Now we can run the sudo. Yeah, we can run test. So I think we can run this command test to get the loot privilege, right? And I think uh, this test is come from is coming from the Python script, and we can cut the test script, and uh, from the from the script itself, we can know. Uh, this script will read the first parameter, and then we'll read uh, this file, and then we'll write write to the write to the second parameter, right? We'll append append uh, this output. This output is retrieved from the, the first parameter. And then we we'll write to the second parameter. So we can generate the username and password information. And this user has loot privilege. And such information can be write, written to the password file. And we can do cut the file we can copy the first line and uh, we can paste in here and we need to generate the new password for our own user we can use the sudo open now this is the hashed password we can replace the X by our own encrypted password. And the username, Jason, of course, you can use any username what you wish. And we can make a copy, right? And then we can go back to our terminal. We need to write to one file like a new user and we can make uh, this file everyone can access or execute then this time we can use the sudo 
sudo and uh, this one but we need to pass the pass two parameter the first one is new user and this file includes our own user name information and its corresponding password and uh, this test command will read the content of this file new user and write the data or content into the second parameter yeah no problem and then we can cut the content of the password as you can see we have already append this line into the password file so now we can switch our shell to the json and password is one two three four five six what we created now we can go to the root directory we got the first the root flag here okay so that's all i'd like to go through in this virtual machine hope to see you in the next one. Bye.